What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Chat, and today I'm going to show you how to create interactive checkboxes in InDesign and then export it into a PDF where the checkboxes actually work, meaning when you click on them on your computer, a checkmark magically appears in the box. And you don't need Adobe Acrobat Professional or Nitro PDF or anything else. You can make your documents interactive using only Adobe InDesign. And if you're new to my channel, welcome and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified when I post one of these videos. And to all my loyal subscribers, I truly appreciate your support. Thank you so much. All right, let's get started. All right, now I'm in my InDesign and I'm just going to use this uh, to-do list which I've created earlier and you can download this template and the link is in the description below. It's for free. So now just go ahead and click on Rectangle Tool. If you don't find this tool panel here, you can go to Window and Workspace, then either choose Essentials or Essentials Classic. I'm using Essentials Classic. All right, so go ahead and click on that Rectangle Tool. Just going to zoom this for you so I can see it clearly. Now hold your shift key and then drag and draw that square. Tutorials on this one and how to resize or properly resize objects. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click on my background color. So I want to change it to something that complements my document. So like this. Right. You can also, you know, have a clear background and just a stroke. It's totally fine. Now, what we have to do next is to duplicate this one. You can uh, do a copy and pasting the normal way, like Control or Command C for copying and Control and Command V for pasting. What I did was holding the Alt key and then dragging it. Now we need this smaller than the other one, so I'm just holding the Shift and the Alt keys. And resize this and put it on top of the bigger one. Now that it's still selected, I'm going to hit right click and go to interactive and convert to checkbox. Now on the event, you have this on click and this is what you want. And that's it. All you have to do now is copy this. So we have to group this first, but it's easier. You can uh, use the shortcut Command or Control G, or you can also right click on this one and hit on Group. Now that's grouped, it's easier for us to copy and paste or duplicate this one. So I'm just holding the Alt key here and then dragging it down to where I want it. I'm just eyeballing everything. Right, copy this again. Okay, all you have to do is just duplicate all of this and place it precisely there. Right. Anyway, I'm not going to do everything. You know, you have the idea already. So all you have to do next is export this PDF. So just hit on File and then click Export. Or you can also do the shortcut, which is Command or Control E. Now name your file. And in the format, you need to choose Adobe PDF Interactive, not the print because it won't work. And then you click Save and Export. Now, this opens up right away in my Acrobat Reader. I don't know how you set yours, but this one, it automatically opens up in my Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat Reader. So now I can do the checks here. Magically appears in my check boxes. And I can... Uh, and check it, check it, however I like. So there you go. If you don't have Adobe Acrobat Reader and if you're using Mac, you can also use the preview. Just uh, right click on that one and then open with preview. And it's the same thing. Click and click this. And you can save this before printing or you can also use this as a physical planner. Okay, I hope you found this useful and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share this on social media. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and gives me reasons to keep on making videos like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. Keep watching, keep learning. Bye!